do I start? in a long time. This will be my first video of the new year. <laughs> I'm starting the new year off right and I'm going to talk about procrastination because I have been procrastinating this video for like a week now. I am probably the queen of procrastination because I have so much that I've been meaning to do. I have like pounds of homework because I haven't done it and I don't want to do it and I've been procrastinating this video which is really ironic considering what it's about. I've sat on my butt and I've just done nothing. <sighs> this year I've wanted to do like I wanted to be less of a I'll just do that later person. I wanted to I just want to be that person that's like gets home they do everything they need to do and then they can just like relax. So that is probably one of my New Year's resolutions. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna talk about my New Year's resolutions. That's one of them. To like stop being so procrastinatory. Procrastinatory. I don't know if that's a word, but it's a word now. I got home from school and I made a list. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says homework. Check that off because I did it. Film video. There you are, right there. I'm looking at you, I'm filming the video. Free, read. It actually says Girl Online, one hour. Zoe Sugg's book, I've been meaning to read it. So it says read. Four, YouTube. It says Shaytards, because that's my favorite YouTube people. While I watch dinner, that's what it says. Five, shower. TMI maybe, but I didn't shower yesterday. I didn't shower today. Procrastination. Six says lunch because I make my lunch every night. And it says bed, nine o'clock. I'm going to bed at nine o'clock. It's 7.34 right now. I'm gonna go to bed at nine o'clock tonight because I set a goal and I read somewhere, I might be making this up, that if you make a list of things, it'll, you'll be more like inclined to do the things that you need to get done. So I made a list and I made a list for tomorrow so that maybe I'll get stuff done. Another tip, I learned this from Ned's Declassified. If you wanna get over your procrastination, you should, if you have like a big project or something that's due, what he did on Ned's Declassified, School Survival Guide for middle school, you like do little things working up to the big thing. And then you like make your stuff that you need to do, you make it fun, like you make it like, like he had to do this like cultural project. So he did little fun projects that worked up to the big project that he needed to do. So that's one way that you can get over, or two ways I guess you can get over procrastination. Make a list, do little things to work up to that big thing that you need to get done. Also, when you get something done, like don't take like a break or whatever, because then you'll, you won't leave the break, but like, not congratulate yourself don't like good job self just like good I did that that was a good accomplishment I did something like that was my goal for today was to just do something which I did something I were I did my homework and that made me more inclined to film this video so if you do something you're like yes I did something I did I accomplished something like, you'll feel good about yourself and you'll want to do more things. It's like when people exercise and they're like, I went, I woke up early and I exercised and I feel like I have a lot of energy and I can do lots more things today. Like, that's that's kind of like what it's like. It just motivates you. If you, like, do something, you accomplish something, that makes you more motivated. Okay, I'm done with my procrastination. Um, something that I do want to talk about 
is graduation. With graduation, it is January, what is the date? It is January 13th right now, and I graduate on May 16th. That is not a long ways away. That is a short ways away. It's January 13th. I keep getting emails that are like, your application is due in two days. And that's freaking me out, okay? It's freaking me out. I am not ready to graduate, but at the same time, I'm ready to graduate. Like, I don't really have like senioritis, like you know, the normal people. I'm like, more along the lines like, yes, I'm ready to graduate, move on, and, like do this thing that's called college. And then the part of me is like, wait, children, you are a child. You don't know what you're doing. Stop. So I am very conflicted about graduation. However, I'm trying my best. I'm going to work on things. That's another thing that I can add to my list. Fill out applications because I haven't filled out any applications. Yeah, that's true. I haven't filled out any applications because I procrastinate. Hence the video. Funny thing happened today. Not today. Funny thing happened over the weekend. Um, I was at Walmart and I was getting... My mom wanted to get wanted us to get some chips. So I had like got one down and then my mom was like, wait, we need two more bags. So I had to like reach up to the very top shelf to get the ruffles and I was like reaching up there and I am not a tall person. I'm like 5'2". I'm not a tall human. So I was like reaching up to get them and then like as I was like reaching up, the bags like weight on top became too heavy where they like started to fall and I had this like split second like realization where I was like wait if I like stand under them I can maybe catch them like this that did not happen they like fell <laughs> and they just like landed on my face and then they just like fell on the ground and I started laughing and this guy from behind goes nobody saw that don't worry <laughs> and so I was like laughing about it and he was laughing about it and then I was like looking around and I saw this like, old lady and she was laughing at me and then my sister said that she like when it happened she was like looking around to make sure nobody saw it but like basically the entire aisle saw me just like fail and like drop back some chips on my face <laughs> it was so funny yeah that's my funny story for the week I don't know if you have felt any of this procrastination stuff and if you're a senior and you know what I'm talking about with like this I'm ready to graduate but I'm also not ready to graduate like if you know what I'm talking about if you can relate to anything that I just said in this video procrastination graduation clumsy nation if you can relate to any of that leave a comment because I want to hear it and if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up because that would be much appreciated my phone's blinking that's why i keep looking over there if you can relate to any of this leave a comment thumbs up if you enjoyed it um subscribe if you haven't already because why not i think that's it